Greetings from Virginia and welcome to The Natural Spinner. What I'll be showing you in this video is how I have been combing a pack of vicuña fleece, a super fine pack of vicuña fleece that uh, tested at 12.7 microns. That's pretty fine, huh? Anyway, let me show you the fleece. This is part of the fleece. This is the tip end, the outside part, and there's the cut side. Um, this particular animal must have known the shearing was um, getting ready to commence because she I think she went and found the dirty spot and rolled around and got all mucky because when I washed this the dirt was a lovely shade of mud let me say so I've gotten everything out in the wash that would come out in the wash the rest will come out in combing um, and I'm just taking bits of this and pulling it about the size of my hand grabbing the tips with the cut side to attach to the comb and then let me zoom in just a little bit to show you just attaching the tips and for because this takes so very long and I want to try to cover all the different parts to the combing to the dizzing part I uh, have started this already and we'll just go through the steps so this is how I attach I just catch a few fibers at a time and gently pull this I have started with the longest part of the fleece which is about three inches or so and you can see you go from this very well, let's see this kind of narrow clump of fiber to this longer bit as it stretches out when you attach it to the comb. So the attaching part is part of the combing process because as you see it's starting to already stretch it out. Pull it out nicely. So that's how the attaching goes. And just pull gently. Don't try to put too much on it any one time, you know, in any one movement. Just a little bit at a time and do not pack it down. I'm not packing it down, it's just building up as the fiber gets added. If you push it down as you go along and compact it, it'll just be that much more difficult to take off when you comb it off. And also, dealing with static, my favorite way is just to use my free hand. My one hand is using either the comb or attaching. And in my case, I'm right-handed, so my left hand is free. And I use it for static control and, and helping with pulling fiber off the, the comb. I just take my hand and gently push it to help control static. If I do that and it wants to flip back on the metal, if I take my hand and just push it, it will gently push those fibers down on the ones underneath so that they stay attached to those. They kind of grab a hold of that and not want to flip back. So. And you do want to pull completely away from the comb and not have it partly pulled off and then try to go over or you get fiber that will get tangled. So put it on and freely pull, pull away completely. So There's some attaching and I have already started some combing. Now I'm just going to grab the very bits on the edge. I'm not going to put it in the middle and try to pull the whole thing off. It's just going to be little bits at a time. Little tiny bits at a time. And you see my free hand helps control the fiber, both static and just controlling keeping it together for the combing. And because this fiber is so incredibly fine and um, also because it's a little dirtier than, than average, it will get combed twice. So we're going to get the last bit of this off of here. And once it gets towards the final bits of fiber on the comb, you can take your hand and pinch it and then pull gently with the comb. Let me back up just a little bit. Okay. Grab and pull and then you can press, you know, push it down to control static if it's staticky. Hold it push it, grab it, 
pull it with the comb, push it. That'll help get the fiber, because once it gets towards the end, it doesn't always want to come off as well. So, And as it combs, I started out at the very edges, but as you get into it and more and more is being transferred to, this, to the moving comb, you can actually go a little bit further into the fiber, because as you see, this is already open and fine. So you go as far into the fiber as you need to to um, straighten out and actually do the combing part. Comb it open. So we're going to grab and pull and de-static. Okay. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but every time I pull, it goes whoosh. It kind of whoosh, wants to fly away. So use my hand. I can grab it. Little, until I get all the fiber off that I want to get off. And the rest of it will actually be processed. Um, I'll process the first combing waste into a cloud, which I plan on showing um, in a later video. So it needs a second combing because of the dirt and because it's so fine. So I've taken it, it was pressed down like this. Let's see where there you go. And I'm gonna push it up a little. Not too far, because I do not want it to come off. I don't want it to slide off. That would be a problem. Because it doesn't just reattach quite back on like I got it on there. So there, that's to open it up and help it come off easier. Now, just catching the tips using my free hand. It's already looking better. I don't know if you can see that. See how it's already looking? much better than it was when I put it on from just the washed fleece. So it's already starting to open up and be all lined up and beautiful. I'm trying to go a little faster than I maybe would normally just uh, trying to show you how I do this and trying not to make it a 20 minute video. There is stuff in it, you can see. I am not at this point picking it out. I'll pick it out when I transfer it to the hackle next. I'm just transferring it back from the moving comb to the stationary comb. It's worth treating yourself to some of this, or, or really any super fine um, fiber. This is just the one I'm dealing with right now, but if you can get your hands on some, um, it's a real treat. You don't need very much of, um, especially the pack of Icuna, it's extremely warm. If you just get an ounce or so, you could probably spin and knit yourself a little tiny neck warmer. You could make it um, so that it could just be attached with some buttons around your neck, and it would keep you so warm. Because when I had just the fleece sitting on my lap, as I was pulling pieces off for combing, it uh, was warming my legs incredibly well. So it's very, very warm, and you don't need much of it to make a nice little luxury item to enjoy and help keep you warm in the really cold winter. Again, I'm using my hand as it gets to the end of the comb. Let's see, show you as it gets to the end, and there isn't a whole lot left on here. I can take my fingers and pinch the back, and hold it on the back of the comb, and pull it. It'll just help get the rest of the fiber off the moving comb back onto the stationary comb. And that's just because it's kind of packed there at the end and a little tighter, even though I have it pulled apart. So I've gotten everything off there I'm going to use for now. I'm going to take that fiber off, put it with the waste, the first waste fiber that will be processed later. I'm going to pull this up a little bit so that it doesn't, it's not compacted, which it compacts a little bit more after you attach it back to the uh, stationary comb. I'm going to open it up, make it nice and easy to get off. Again, starting from the outside, and gently pull a little at a time. 
and you can go a little bit deeper into it as it uh, as you get further into it and this is actually easier to comb than the first time of course so we're gonna again use the hand for assisting and helping control static that little bit off, put it on the waste pile. Now I'm going to turn the table a bit to me so that I can show you the hackle and how I use the hackle. So it's been combed twice. Again, I'm going to take it and push it up so that it's not as compacted down. It'll make it easier to get off the comb. And just very gently start attaching it to the comb. Now this is the part where I'll do my fine tuning. I'll pick out the neps, the vegetable matter, the stuff I don't want in it. So I just start and there's a piece and I just pull it out, put it on my waste pile and I'll just keep doing this. This is actually an extra fine hackle. Um, they don't make super fines yet, but I'm on the list for one, so as soon as I have a super fine hackle that matches my super fine combs, this job will be even easier. I won't have to pick out as much because it should just comb out as it passes through the tines. And I'm a little OCD about fiber prep, so I really pick out every little bit of stuff that I can see that isn't perfect smooth fiber. Matter, nappy. Okay. So you get the idea. I'm not going to finish this because it's going to take too long and I'm trying to make a reasonable length video, so I'll finish that later. So we take the diz and the crochet hook. First, we push the fiber out. When I get as many, sometimes I'll put uh, four to five loads from the comb onto the hackle and I'm going to push it up a little bit just again to to open it up a little so it's not as compact and it'll come off easier and I'm going to try to pull it together because you want the fibers to be together it'll help with the dizzing my diz if you haven't already seen it's just a piece of PVC pipe that I drilled some holes in and sanded the edges now left side for me it's left side, it could be the right side for you. I'm going to wrap a little bit around, pull it through, and start dizzing. Pull and push a little. Not too far, like I said the staple length is around three inches, so I want to go maybe a third to no more than half, half pulling out, and then in. And even as I diz it off, I can pick out little bits that that I see that I don't like. And I'm just going to pull and push. You can do it straight, you can do it at a slight angle, whatever works best for the fiber. Always just slightly letting it overlap so that it grabs the neighboring fibers and works its way along the hackle. Fibers like to grab, that's for sure. They don't need a whole lot of coaxing, but you do have to make let them grab each other. Another little bit I don't want in there. And there 
there's the prime best fiber and you see there's still some short fiber on there I'll process that further later but here is my my combed Paco Vicuña top all ready for spinning isn't it beautiful I wish you could feel it it's so soft and that's all for this one and I will show how I process the waste fiber on cotton hand cards into a cloud um, I'll show that in another video so I hope you see that when I get that one up too until next time Thanks for watching.